Welcome to Biology Tutor. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications. Food and Agriculture Organization to Facts and MCQs. Today we are going to discuss about 30 MCQs regarding Food and Agriculture Organization. First question, the FAO's Global Soil Partnership Initiative launched in 2012 aims to address food loss and waste reduction. B. Promote sustainable soil management globally. C. Enhance biodiversity conservation. D. Strengthen aquatic system, aquaculture system. Which is the answer? Here answer is option B. Promote sustainable soil management globally. Second question. The Hand in Hand initiative launched in 2019 primarily focuses on strengthening international trade policies, eradicating poverty and hunger in most vulnerable regions. C. Promoting genetically modified crop research. D. Ensuring food quality standards globally. Which is the answer? Your answer is option B. Eradicating poverty and hunger in the most vulnerable regions. Third question. In which year was the Save Food Initiative aimed at reducing global food loss and waste launch? 2011, 2013, 2015, 2017. Which is the answer? Your answer is 2011. Fourth question, what is the primary focus of the FAO's Blue Growth Initiative? A. Conservation of water resources. B. Sustainable management of aquatic food systems. Option C. Encouraging renewable energy in agriculture. Option D. Promoting urban farming practices. Which is the answer? The answer is option B. Sustainable management of aquatic food systems. Fifth question, Globally Important Agriculture Heritage System GIAHS established 2002 primarily aims to enhance urban agriculture, B. Protect traditional farming systems with cultural heritage, C. Introduce digital tools for smart farming, D. Regulate international food trade, which is the answer. Here answer is option D. Protect traditional farming systems with cultural heritage. Sixth question, In the FAO's Youth and United Nations Global Alliance, Young initiative, what is the purpose of challenge badges? Certifying completion of farming modules, recognizing achievements in environmental stewardship, C. Granting funding for agribusiness startups, D. Awarding agricultural innovations. Which is the answer? Here answer is B. Recognizing achievements in environmental stewardship. The purpose of the United Nations challenge badges is to raise awareness, educate, and most of the more most of all, motivate young people to change their behavior and be active agents of change in their local communities. Seventh question. The FAO Fisheries Program aligned with the Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries 1995 emphasizes A. Genetic Engineering in Aquaculture Option B. Reducing Illegal, Unreported and Unregulated Fishing C. Supporting industrial scale fishing. D. Promoting fish exports from developing nations. GC answer. Your answer is reducing illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. Option B. Eighth question. Which the thematic priority is addressed by the FAO's Urban Food Agenda initiative initiated in 2019? Strengthening rural markets, enhancing food security in urban centers, C. Subsidizing agricultural exports. D. Promoting genetic crop diversification. Which is the answer? Here answer is option B. Enhancing food security in urban centers. Ninth question. The FAO's 2021 Four Betters strategic vision focuses on better nutrition, better production, better environment and dash. Fill with correct option. A. Better collaboration, better life, better economics, better development. Which is the answer? Here answer is option B. Better life. Tenth question. Which food and agriculture organization initiative is associated with the theme Our actions are our future. Better production, better nutrition, a better environment and a better life. World Food Day 2021. International Year of Farming, Family Farming. Food Safety Guidelines 2019. Global Food Summit 2022. Which is the answer? Here answer is option A, World Food Day 2021. 11th question, what is the primary objective of Agricultural Market Information System, AMIS, initiated by FAO in 2011? Monitoring agricultural subsidies, 
to enhance food market transparency and policy response for food security, promoting private sector participation in agriculture, enhancing organic farming networks. So GC answer here answer is option B to enhance food market transparency and policy response for food security. Twelfth question. FAO declared 2023 as the International Year of Millets to address gluten intolerance in diets, to promote sustainable cultivation of drought resistant crops, enhance soil health globally, D. Develop fortified cereal varieties. This is the answer. Here, answer is option B. Promote sustainable cultivation of drought resistant crops. IYM 2023 will be an opportunity to raise awareness of and direct policy attention to the nutritional and health benefits of millets and their suitability for cultivation under adverse and challenging or changing climatic conditions. 13. The FAO SFPRA fund was established in 2004 to manage emergency responses for food crisis, b. support rural women and entrepreneurs, c. enhance agricultural tourism networks, d. fund bioengineering research farming. GC answer. Here answer is option a. Manage emergency responses for food crisis. 14th question. In which year was the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture adopted by Food and Agricultural Organization? 2001, 2003, 2005, 2007. Which is the answer. Here answer is option A. 2001. The International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture is legally binding instrument adopted by the FAO conference in 2001 and it entered into force on 29th June 2004. 15th question. FAO's Global Action on Fall Army Worm Control launched in 2019 aims to create genetically modified pest resistant crops, provide sustainable solutions to combat fall army worm outbreaks, establish pesticide free farming zone, D. Monitor soil degradation rates. This is the answer. Here answer is option D. Provide sustainable solutions to combat fall army, army worm outbreaks. In December 2019, FAO launched a three year global action for Fall army worm control and recognize the importance of prevention and preparedness to better respond to FAW rapid spread. 16th question Which FAO initiative focuses on transforming agri food systems to reduce hunger by 2013? Zero Hunger Sustainable Development Goal 2030, Food Security Vision 2050, Agri Sustainable Plan 2030, Global Nutrition Framework. Which is the answer? The answer is option A Zero Hunger. SDG 2030. 17. The FAO's Tefretate Workers Database supports research on fruit fly pest management, wheat rust surveillance, genetically improved cattle breeds, algal bloom control in aquaculture. Which is the answer? Here answer is option A. Fruit fly pest management. 18th question. The FAO emergency prevention system includes components for livestock, crop, and aquatic animal diseases. Climate adaptation in farming practices, enhanced digital mapping for land usage, the agro-tourism partnerships, which is the answer. Here answer is option A, livestock, crops and aquatic animal diseases. EMPRS has two components created after 1994 by a new policy of the Director General of FAO to better direct the FAO. The plant pest component focuses on the desert locust whereas the animal diseases component focus primarily in printer pest but also on other epidemic diseases too. Nineteenth question. What was the central theme of World Food Day 2020 coordinated by FAO? Climate is changing. Food and agriculture must too. Grow, nourish, sustain. Together our actions are our future. Our actions are our future. Healthy diets for a zero hunger world. Which is the answer? Here answer is option B. Grow, nourish, sustain together. Our actions are our future. 20th question. What is the primary focus of the FAO Locust Watch program initiated in 1978? Tracking desert locust outbreak and providing early warnings. Conducting genetic research on locust control. Promoting pesticide free pest control techniques. Studying the life cycle of dust hoppers. Which is the answer? Here answer is option A, tracking desert locust outbreaks and providing early warnings. 21. Which FAO initiative launched in 2016 addresses antimicrobial resistance in agriculture? A. The FAO action plan on antimicrobial resistance. Option B. Global health strategy for animals. 
ऑप्शन सी वेटनरी सस्टेनेबिलिटी प्रोग्राम ऑप्शन डी पैथोजन रिडक्शन इनिशिएटिव जिसी आंसर हियर आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए द फेओ एक्शन प्लान ऑन एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस द फेओ एक्शन प्लान ऑन एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस 2016 टू 2020 इंक्रीजिंग ग्लोबल एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस इज अ मेजर थ्रेट टू ह्यूमन एंड एनिमल हेल्थ इट एंडेंजर्स मॉडर्न ह्यूमन एंड वेटनरी मेडिसिन एंड अंडरमाइंस द सेफ्टी ऑफ आवर फूड एंड एनवायरमेंट 22 who is the first director general of fao sir john boyd or antonio guterres tedros athanom khebreyesus okanjo ivela which is answer the answer is option a sir john boyd or 23 what innovation is central to the fao's e agriculture strategy guide released in 2016 satellite based weather monitoring for crop crop planning b promoting digital tools to empower agricultural stakeholders c blockchain technology for global food trade d artificial intelligence driven genetic crop modification which is the answer the answer is option b promoting digital tools to empower agricultural stakeholders 24 fao's one country one quality product initiated in 2021 aims to focus national efforts on diversifying agricultural production identify and promote specific high value agricultural products eliminate imports of staple crops advocate for a uniform global agriculture trade policy which is the answer the answer is option b identify and promote specific high value agricultural products the ocop was developed as a country led and country driven initiative that focuses on special agricultural products which have unique qualities and special characteristics that are associated with geographical locations farming practices and cultural heritage or untapped potential 25 fao launched on 16th october 1945 october 16 1945 in quebec city canada 26 the green cities initiative introduced by fao in 2020 aimed to improving the livelihoods and well-being of urban populations improving the livelihood and well-being of peri urban populations improve urban and peri urban populations at least 100 cities around the world in the next 3 years looking to have 1000 cities joined by 2030 which is the answer the answer is option d all of the above 27 the fao global action on Pollu- pollination initiated in 2021 addresses conservation and sustainable use of pollinators for agriculture introduction of robotic pollinators in agriculture expansion of monoculture farming practices genetic modification of pollinator species which is answer here answer is option a conservation and sustainable use of pollinators for agriculture 28 in 2021 fao launched the rec soil initiative focusing on soil carbon sequestration to combat climate change in reducing hydroponic farming to arid regions c large scale fertilizer subsidy programs d commercializing degraded soil for urban expansion which is the answer the answer is option a soil carbon re- sequestration to combat climate change rec soil creates an enabling environment at a national level and empowers individual farmers to adopt sustainable practices that increase soil health resilience to climate change food security and livelihoods 29 who is the director general of fao q dong q antonio guterres tedros athanom Gabriel's Okanjo Ivela which is the answer the answer is option A Q Dong Yu Food safety officer book is available with 1000 MCQ from all sections you can order it through Amazon link it is available in the description question number last question number of this session 30 how many members are there in FAO 195 196 194 193 which is the answer The answer is option A 195. The FAO comprises 195 members including 194 countries and the European Union. Thank you. All the best for your exams. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications.